So what is going on to me today? I have a video which I did about two years ago with my football shirts. You fucking cocksucker. So what is going on to me today? I have a video showing my football shirts. Now I did this video about two years ago when I collected a lot of football shirts. I've gone for it. I've still got a lot more, a few more since two years ago obviously and that did get a lot of views over 100 likes as well so i'm assuming you guys want an updated one so i'm gonna bring it to you so yeah let's jump into it right let's start off at the walls this is a signed match worn louis reed shirt it's uh, if, i don't know if the camera will pick it up it's signed to me you can see smiggy thanks for your support louis reed so i did ask him like how many retweets and stuff on twitter for that and i did manage to get it in like 24 hours and then he did it me the day after the tweet went up so easy business easy business and this one is a mark mcnulty one if you watch my channel for a while you'll know that i have this but last time i mentioned it it had a different signature on the front because my mum washed it so i had to send it off to be re-signed but as you can see two tommy best wishes mcnulty and now I'm going to go through them super quick because I have so many shirts and I don't want this video to drag on. So yeah, let's go. So I have a Fenerbahce shirt with Van Persie on the back. Just a regular Chelsea shirt from last year. A tiny little shirt. Bayern Munich shirt from a couple of years ago, I believe. Look how big this is. This is before I lost my weight. Look. Jeepers. Jeepers. <laughs> I've never said that word. Wow. Yeah. Now this one, so Smith 10 on the back, it is from like 2010 maybe. And then it's just got a few signatures on the front. I think I probably got it done at an open day. But I like this shirt, it's got Smith 10 on the back. Lovely. By the way, it doesn't fit me no more. Can you tell? I, I could squeeze into it. See? Told you. Fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. This one you've probably seen in the last video, it's just got Tommy7 on the back, it is a Chelsea shirt and last video I said it reminded me of Didier Drogba, if you can remember, if you watched the last video, it was a long, long time ago, but I'm not going to try and squeeze into this, don't expect me to try and fit into every single shirt, but really smart shirt actually. So this one is a Billy Sharp one from last year, I got it signed by him at Knocking Day, it's not like match one or anything, but it's bright, the, the doomed away kit. The bad look one but it is quite actually a nice kit but yeah i got it signed by him at the open date so it looks very nice quite an odd yeah, you can sort of see it <laughs> this one is an ac milan shirt i really actually like this shirt it's very smart it will before they started doing the little daft badge thing like with a little st george's cross thing in it so yeah I like this badge a lot better than the other one. Right, so this one is last year's Chelsea away kit. I absolutely love this kit. I'm going to get something on the back. I think I'm going to get Pedro on the back, but I think they couldn't do it on that day or something. But it would look very smart on the back of this shirt. But this shirt I absolutely adore. Honestly, it's so, so smart and I love it. And once again, another Chelsea shirt. This time it says Smiggy on the back. And if you haven't realised, like, I used to, like love Chelsea because you know as a kid you just want to see people win and stuff so now I obviously look out for the results I do want them to succeed so I just buy the shirts and stuff but yeah I'd say second team it just sounds bad doesn't it as well as Fenerbahce I like Fenerbahce speaking of the devils a Fenerbahce shirt from I think two years ago that's a sponsor by the way it's not a name with no number but it's a very, very nice shirt. I love the Fenerbahce shirt. So as you can see, this year's Fenerbahce, no, this is last year's Fenerbahce shirt, actually. As you can see, it's all peeling off. But once again, very smart shirt. Like, they don't change the shirts too much, so obviously, they basically look the same. And the goalkeeper kit for Sheffield United this year, like, it will reduce near the end of the season, so I thought, you know what, I may as well buy it. I also do have the away kit shit. shit. I do have the away shirt, it's basically that shirt with Smiggy 9 on the back, but I think it's in the wash. Should have really thought about that. Right, so now we're getting on to the ones that are in my drawers, probably the older ones. We have this signed, fully signed Chef United one, I think from 2009. It's got all the squad that have signed it, I got this done at an open date as well. I've got this shirt, I'm sure it was from when... Was it the Wembley year when we got to Wembley and lost against Hull in the semi-final? I'm sure that was the shirt. 
because we changed sponsors in the final, didn't we? Mm. If you know, comment it because seriously, my mind's blown. And we have this shirt. I'm sure this was a third third kit. You've probably seen this if you've watched my videos for a while, which you probably haven't. From when I was fat and tried to do kick up challenges, I was wearing this. But it is actually nice. I like this bit on the shirt, the blades at the top of the shirt. But it's just a smart little white shirt, and I hope we have another white shirt again soon. But I am terrible for getting stains, so. Yeah, it looks smart, it looks alright until I get stain on it. Here we have a real Madrid shirt. I'm sure this is from when Zidane is playing. I know he's still at Real Madrid, obviously, but when he used to play at Real Madrid, I'm sure this is from them. Really nice, it's got the little thing on the side, the, the Liga badge. Very smart shirt. Can't actually remember having this one. Don't know where that's came from. Obviously it's mine, but can't remember it. And can I just mention, I think I mentioned this in my last video, Macron, they didn't know how to put the sponsors on. You can sort of see Visit Malta, but Macron, where? Lost the badge. That's probably peeled off and all. These always used to peel off. These were the bastard. The little Macron thing, literally everything peeled off on this shit. It was a joke. We have this gold Chelsea goalkeeper kit, which is actually quite nice. Apart from the long sleeve, that's the only problem. I don't like wearing long sleeve football shirts. Which is why I only wear that one on odd occasions. The um, pointing to it, you can't even see it. This one on odd occasions. So I've got two goalkeeper shirts and I just basically wear them around the house. Back to another Chelsea shirt with Diego Costa on the back, number 19. Once again, this was from when I was fat. Like, it baggy on me now. And yeah, Samsung. Oh, Samsung. Thanks, they can read. It's a very, very smart shirt, but it is too big for me now, unfortunately. It's got the Premier League badges on the side. I used to love this shirt when I'd actually fit in it. <sighs> Why am I so fat? Come on. Another Sheffield United shirt. That is the same as that one, but it just has Smith 10 on the back. Now, as you can see, I like getting names on the back, whether it's a player, whether it's customised. But I do love getting names, so whoever you think I should get on my Sheffield United shirt next year, comment down below whether that's Smiggy or a player, you know, if you're a Sheffield United fan and you actually know some players, comment them down below. Not, not that I don't know players, that made it sound like I don't know players. I know every player, but comment down below what player I should get or whether I should get a customised one or the home and away. Just tell me a player I should get on one of my kits next year. Oh no, I've just realised who I've got on the back of this. If you know, you know. This is a goalkeeper Sheffield United shirt. It is signed, if you look closely, it's dark green, so it is actually hard to see. But it is signed by the squad of that year. I'm not really sure what year it is, actually, but it's a goalkeeper shirt signed by all of the squad. A little England shirt. Look how small it is compared to me. I'm not even going to try and squeeze into this because the material on it, if you can remember, this England shirt is like cotton. It's not football material, but as you can see, I have Smith 10 on the back, and then Smith, it doesn't say Smith to me. 10 in the middle, like, obviously internationals have the number in the middle, but this is actually a very nice shirt. I like the feel of it, so. Yeah. Also, if it is like I'm looking to the side a bit, it's because I can see what you see a bit to your left, so I'm not like, I'm not staring at something that way. Like I'm staring at it now, as you can see, I basically have the screen next to the GoPro. Which isn't the smartest idea, because I just want to stare at myself, just not vain like. I just want to see if I've got it in shot and everything. So if I'm looking that way, I, I do apologise. And now we've got this shirt, the one with the crazy Japanese sponsor, football manager on the back. It is, I think that's from the year of the FA Cup as well. Now this one is one of my favourite shirts. It is the PSV shirt look how smart that looks that honestly looks so so smart i love it i wish i got someone on the back of this as well but obviously getting foreign printing in england is rare it's rare that they'll have like the era see the bundesliga and everything font so if you want printing you're probably gonna have to get premier league printing you just don't you just don't need now here here is one of my other favorite shirts it is the germany shirt i'm sure this was from a few years ago but as you can see, it's like striped. It's very smart. I don't know why one arm's tucked in. It's making it look a mess. But look, it is a very, very smart shirt. It says that on the back. That? Oh, God, you can't see it. It says that on the back. If any Germans have any clue. Why would a German be watching me? Yep. 
I have no Germans watching me, but if you do, comment what it means. Now this shirt, I absolutely love. Not because it looks nice, but as you can see, it is the 120th year anniversary shirt. And if you look closely, it's got names of everyone who would ed ed who would ever played for Sheffield United at that point. It's got Tommy Smith somewhere. Not me. Obviously, it's not me. I'm. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find Tommy Smith. One eternity later. Hey Smith, Andy Smith, Brian Smith, Daniel Smith, Fred Smith, George Smith, Grant Smith, Harry Smith, Jack Smith, Jack Jeff Smith, Jim Smith, Jock Smith, Joe Smith. No, that's not me. I've lost the Smiths now. Found it. If you can see it, chuffy now. You see that? That took a lot of finding. You can't even see. It. What a waste of effort. Old England shirt, not the best, not the biggest fan, but you know, I'll wear it in the World Cup and stuff. Another England shirt, once again, wear it in the World Cup. Same applies, wear it in the World Cup. I think you're seeing a trend here. So we are on the last shirt in my room. I have a lot more in the wash and stuff, but it's just a Neymar Junior Brazil shirt, once again, from when I was fat. So if I wear it, it looks like a 90. So yeah. Comment what shirts you think I should buy. Comment what shirt collections you've got. Maybe even make a video and tag me in it so I will see it. So yeah. If you have enjoyed this video, if we could smash 50 likes, that would be absolutely insane. Comment what you get on my Shipping Night shirt. Comment what shirts you have. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.